Okay, so in the first video we filled in these holes with epoxy and now that the wood cores are prepped and sanded smooth, we're going to get into laminating. So from the wind glassing material kit, I um, cut some strips of fiberglass and you can see it, it, you know, it covers the wing and there's not too much extra. Um, so yeah, you just got to cut the strips and with these wings, there'll, there'll be a sheet of paper that tells you exactly how many layers of fiberglass you're going to need for each side of the part. Um, so follow those directions. Okay, so I have some epoxy mixed up and if you're unfamiliar with how to mix up some epoxy, I'm going to put a video up later uh, that details two different ways. One uh, uses a scale to measure it out, um, that's very accurate, and then there's another method that you can use if you don't have a scale, it also works pretty well. So I've done both, the scale is easier, but the other way um, is great for people who don't have a scale. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna pour this onto this first piece of fiberglass, um, and then I'm gonna wet it out, and a lot of people will use brushes or maybe a um, scraper uh, to spread it out, but I found just using your hands with, of course, with gloves, uh, it's just really the easiest. You don't need anything extra. This isn't really a giant part. So I'm just going to use my hands. And once this is wet out with fiberglass, I'm then going to add my next layer on top of that, wet that out, and then I'm going to add the next one on top of that. So I like to wet them out one at a time uh, just to make sure there's no air bubbles. And then once they're all wet out, I'm just going to leave it and the whole thing's going to cure as uh, one layer of fiberglass so pretty much just pour it out and the first layer you can be a little thick uh, because the layers you add on top are just gonna soak up any extra and I'm just gonna slowly start spreading this out and one thing to take note is I am working on the bottom side of the wing um, so just keep that in mind. I think the order is important because it helps out later on uh, when you go to set an epoxy edge. I know you don't know what that is right now, but later on in the build, or if you skip ahead, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So uh, once again, that only matters for the main wing because the stabilizer, it's symmetrical on both sides. You're not gonna run into the same um, problem. So as you can see, this is kind of all spread out. Uh, I'll need a little bit more along the edges, but I can add that after adding this next layer. So you can see it's just one layer at a time, just wet them out. And then as I stated before, you know, we follow the directions as to how many go on which side of what part. And we're just going to do the same with the stabilizer. So. Same exact process, just wetting out this fiberglass, getting that epoxy in, making sure there's no air bubbles. All right, so all the layers are on and they're nicely wet out. You can see, uh, you know, you have the edge of the wing right here and then I made sure that the, the cloth is wet out just beyond that edge. You don't need much more than that. So just double check, make sure going all the way around, everything's wet out. The same is done for the stabilizer. So the easiest way to trim all this extra off is to wait for the epoxy to really thicken up, but not yet cure. So I know this epoxy is gonna take about three hours and then it'll be hard and then it'll be difficult to cut with just this blade. But if I wait, roughly two hours. I'm going to come in and check maybe every 20 minutes and just kind of poke the edge. And when I feel that it's this flexible but kind of stiff, you're going to be able to run the blade along the edge of the wing and trim it up uh, really easily and really quickly. So that's one thing to pay attention to. Uh, it really makes things easier for yourself. So that would really be the bare minimum approach would just to be wait for this to kind of thicken up and then be able to use this blade. Otherwise, um, you know, you can use other tools you have. You can wait for it to fully cure 
and you can use some scissors to kind of trim away the cloth and then use that sure form which I showed you guys earlier uh, to get down just to the edge of that wood core so there's a couple ways to do that all right so as we build along I'm just gonna keep adding in all sorts of tips and tricks I've learned along the way so now that we're putting epoxy on some of the parts um, it's important that you're using gloves um, not just because you know epoxy can it's not great to get on your skin um, you know just follow the the guidelines and use gloves you're always supposed to use gloves but also um, once you start putting the epoxy on you don't want oil from your fingers getting onto the parts because that's going to affect your finish so even when your part uh, the epoxy has cured and it's hard and it's not sticky anymore if you're just picking it up just to move it uh, put some gloves on because if you just pick it up and you get a couple fingerprints on there when you go to do your final glass coat is what I call it's just the finished nice smooth coat that if there's oil on your fingers which there usually is you're gonna get a, a dimple and um, it can really be annoying especially when you're trying to get a nice smooth uh, final part so from now on always make sure you're using gloves when you're touching the part all right so it's been about two hours now that's just for this epoxy in this particular temperature so depending on what epoxy you're using and what temperature that room is that's gonna be different so like I said it's best just to check every 20 minutes or so but um, this is now at the point where it will be easy to cut with I'm gonna use this little tiny razor blade so it's gonna be easy to trim along this entire edge using that blade I don't know how easy it will be for you guys to to tell but you can kind of see like it's like slightly tacky but not really I mean it's not on my fingers and it's movable so that's um where you want it to be when you when you go for this trim so yeah now you can just take the, your razor blade and just go along the edge pretty easily and you can actually get right up to the edge of the wood so, I mean, you can, after you trim it, if it's real uptight against the wood, you can just flip it over and glass the other side. So you can see how that comes off there. And yeah, you can get right up to that edge. So it's a pretty uh, pretty easy way to trim. So with the razor blade, I went around all these uh, edges here. I'm just gonna carefully pick this up by the edge so I don't get fingerprints. So you can see that's uh, glassed right there. And same with the uh, large wing. So the edge is nice and trimmed and now I'm just gonna fiberglass the other side just like we did the uh, first side. But one important thing to uh, keep in mind is you're going to glass this side and then once that fiberglass kind of gels up uh, like it did when we trimmed the edge, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to flip the part over and then you're going to pour an epoxy, what I call a rail, um, that's what they use in like board building terms, but you're going to pour an epoxy edge uh, that goes all the way around the part and that's gonna seal your edge up and join these two edges so that's uh, again that's a time related uh, process where you're gonna have to gauge the fiberglass so just keep that in mind before you uh, go ahead and do that do the second side okay so just as before you know I have the epoxy mixed up and I'm just gonna pour it out and uh, soak out all this glass so that glass is all wet out, now I'm going to wait again for uh, the edges to kind of, or the epoxy to thicken up a little bit and start to set, and then I'm going to flip these parts over and pour that rail, so uh, you guys are going to see that in a minute. Alright, so just as before, this epoxy is, uh, it's, it's curing up, it's not totally cure and completely stiff, but it's, um, it's getting there, so I'm just going to peel these off and flip them upside down. Now I have some epoxy mixed up and I'm just going to pour it along the edge and it's going to pool up. Um, you don't need it to pool up that much but you just need it to pool up and that's going to form a epoxy edge. 
that goes all the way around the part. So when you go to do the final trim and sand, you'll have a nice epoxy edge uh, protecting the wood core and bonding the top layer to the bottom layer of fiberglass. So getting up close you can see that uh, edge of epoxy that I just poured in and it's just going to sit like that. It's nice and consistent all the way around the part. Same with the uh, front wing. And So now we're just going to sit here and let these cure and then um, we're going to trim and uh, finish sand these parts. Okay so now that this epoxy is setting up I'm just going to go around the edges and trim with the razor blade just as we did before. So that fiberglass has been trimmed. You can still see there's still a, a good portion of it there. You can see where that epoxy edge is that we poured. So now we're at the step where we're going to shape the final edge of these wings. So there's a variety of tools you can use. Uh, you don't need any one tool. You can kind of, you know, if you only have sandpaper, you can go with that. It might help to uh, use a wooden block just to get a little more um, material off. Uh, that's obviously going to be the longest approach. A sure form works great at this stage. Files can also work. An orbital sander, um, you can use that. Really anything. Uh, There's just such a wide variety of tools you can use. But the goal here is to shape this final epoxy edge and you're going to want maybe two millimeters uh, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about once once we get started um, I'll show you guys what it should look like when you're all done but here's the other side just for example so we're gonna slowly start working our way down um, really cleaning up these edges and making them look nice <laughs> So I have these edges trimmed down nice and neatly. This part probably requires the most work. Um, even so, it maybe took me 10 minutes just now. So um, it's really not, not even that bad. But you can see, there you go. You can see that edge that goes along the entire part. So that's what you're looking for. Um, that's going to protect the part on the two sides together and so you're really just going to shape that out nice and smooth just trying to get some good angles here for you guys to see so yeah that's uh that's all that is and now i already sanded this piece down um, just sand the surface make sure it's nice and smooth kind of get any nicks and bumps if there's any uh splotches of epoxy you know sand those out so Okay, so that completes the second part of the build, which is glassing the wood core wings. Now in the next part, we're going to be molding the front wing to the fuselage. That's just a quick one-step process. And then after that, it's just applying the final coat of epoxy and then paint.